Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Do you fancy a little bit of Street Fighter? I certainly do. I'm playing a bit of this over the weekend. I'm technically still off, I might add. But I had a couple of matches that I kind of liked. I got back into Street Fighter after really not playing Super at all and only playing Street Fighter 4 on the PC a while ago, so I'm way out of practice. You might notice that I play Dan. Yes, I main Dan, because it's funny. Those of you who don't know the background behind Dan, Dan is widely considered to be the worst character in Street Fighter 4. There is some debate, but at the moment, he's at the bottom of every tier list I can find. And he's designed kind of to be a joke character. He has inferior reach to everybody else. You might see his fireballs are awful. Things like that very narrow arc on his Shoryukens. But whatever the case, I like Dan because he's hilarious. Dan is about having fun. Dan also can actually hit like a truck to get some nice big meaty attacks in right there. As this guy is sadly not blocking some of my big fierce combos. Don't expect high level play for any of this. I'm very much out of practice. But I had a couple of matches here that I was pretty happy with in terms of what ended up happening. Some good fun gameplay. Now, this guy who I'm playing against right here, he's one of the new guys from Arcade Edition. He's like either Yun or Yan or something along those lines. Not anymore, he isn't, but he's pretty high up in the tier list. He's quite popular at the moment. He's very quick. I've had a few problems with him in the past. I've come up against him a couple of times in the matchmaking. Those of you who are wanting a proper WTF is of this game, by the way, I will give you one, certainly, but only after the weekend, because I'm technically on holiday at the minute. I just wanted to show you a couple of games that I've been mucking about with while the guys have been here. We've been playing quite a bit of this. This is all online. Now, this guy is actually a Hakan. He's C rank, as you can probably tell by his player points and battle points. So, my character is D rank. I, I'm not as good. Obviously, that's got nothing to do with how powerful my character is. It's more to do with the fact that it's ranking in terms of how good my player is. And this Hakan is having no luck at all. <laughs> I was so close that I ended up getting a perfect on him there, and then he comes back and beats the crap out of me. It's not exactly what I would call ideal. I thought he was maybe just letting me do that, but... Oh, look! Yek Shoryuken. Or in this case, Goryuken. Behold my psycho power. Oh, yes. The nice thing about Super Street Fighter 4 and Arcade Edition is that all of your games are logged into replay, which is freaking wonderful for frapsing. So I can just turn back and say, hey, I want to put this game up. There's a couple of other games that had some really fun conclusions that I might put up on the channel. And I'm considering doing a little bit of low-level commentary on some of the other replays. Because there's loads of replays available on the replay channels in the game. So you can download really high-level stuff. So, I don't know. Street Fighter and fighting games in general are such a fantastic eSport, in my honest opinion. And it would be kind of nice to do a little bit of play-by-play -play on these some high-action stuff. I've been umming and ahhing over stuff to maybe do level, low level play by play on, stuff like Quake Live, for instance, because I think if you're a fan of esports, you should perhaps widen your horizons to include more than one esports game. I mean, you can't really call yourself a sports fan if you only watch one sport, in my honest opinion. And there's tons of great games with awesome competitive scenes that are perhaps not as large as StarCraft 2, and I think it would be cool to show them off. In this case, it's just my low level scrubbery, but hey, yes, the Dan supremacy continues. I call it the Danish Inquisition. Nobody expects it. I'll see you next time.